My name is Martin Beck, and I own Cloverbud Ranch, or I, I lease the rights to take a bet and see if we could raise some cattle here. And brought in a new partner this year, Dennis Welch. So Dennis and I own these beautiful Austrian pin scours, and we pay Mr. Zerlo the rights to, to run a, a regenerative uh, uh, rotational grazing operation here. So what you can see is whole bunch of land, most of it needs to not have cattle on it most of the time. So the way what we, what we do is, uh, and NRCS has done a great job of helping us with costs. So there's a cost sharing program through the USDA, a commitment to raise cattle to a, uh, a sustainable standard. And that means protecting the, why? Because the, the resource you can get our funding is based on the proximity of, to, of, of our operation to drinking water. So it was important for NRCS to give us some standards of how to raise our cattle here in a way that would uh, honor and respect our proximity to drinking water. So that, and how do we do that? We stay 200 feet away from the water. You'll see the fencing. And they wanted us to move the cattle around. Why? It's really important. Manure is, is gold. We have a gold mine here, <laughs> and we don't even need manure spreaders or lawnmowers because there they are. There's the lawnmowers and there's the manure spreaders. So, and uh, so NRCS helped uh, Mr. Zerlo. Uh, we put in three giant paddocks that we'll go through. Paddock <laughs> just means a fenced area. We've got an electric charge here, and um, then we subdivide this uh, in the in the grazing season. Right now. What you're seeing is what we call our sacrificial pastures. We're just going to feed bales of hay through the winter here, and we'll we'll move those bales around so their manure gets spread around. But through the season, those cattle are moved every three days onto strips of land with a giant fishing reel, sort of an electric fishing line that gets clipped to this. So we can subdivide these big boxes into smaller boxes. We drag hoses, we fill tanks. So it's a very low, low tech operation. And um, uh, we, we can, we do have some water distribution, some hydrants that pop up in the fields, but there's usually some hoses and some big uh, stock tanks involved. And uh, the electric fences get uh, uh, redeployed every few days because we want those cattle to be marching around, um, eating the top half of the grass the lush part, leaving the bottom, that's the regrowth, and, uh, and resting that for 30 days. So the key is to come up with the rotation NRCS is Natural Resource Conservation Service. It helps farmers with cost sharing uh, programs. When those programs are addressing a nearby at-risk resource. So uh, often it's a water resource, sometimes it's wetlands, um, and so that they like they like that we're um, they like that we're being mindful of pollinators, but mostly we're mindful of keeping the manure distributed. We're not having a giant manure pile down 